Special shout out to my members and patrons Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Hushika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, Iron Beast, Jelly Beams, Yumi, Jim Bones, MDS 84ZA, Carnet 76, Balalco, and Killer Bunny 264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout out on all my videos, get access to your private Discord channel, and access to my 7 Days That I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days That I War of the Walkers mod. So, last episode, we found this awesome uh, Jen's Trader. Guys, this place is really, really cool. And every now and then there's a door that you can open up and you can actually get stuff like this. I had to use a lockpick to be able to get in here. Oh, I ran out of lockpicks because I only had two left and I had to go buy 15 more from Jen. But yeah, now I'm able to get in here. Let's just see if I can't perhaps get lucky. I need the drone mod. So uh, the drone cargo schematic. Because at the moment, the, oh, I need more space. My drone's only carrying like two uh, rows of stuff. If I can actually have the storage schematic for that, would be awesome. I need to see if it's not perhaps unlockable under another class or something. We have that already, there's no point. I hear a ton of footsteps outside, I don't know if it's my NPCs or... That's not my NPC. Okay, I uh, unlocked all of these over here, let's just make sure we have the right glasses on. Remington, oh, <laughs> going from level 2 to level 6, that is awesome. Okay, and we are full. The drone's full, I'm full. Uh, this is a what? Sniper rifle, right? No, wait, this is an automatic gun. Magazine size 10, though, so it's more like a sniper rifle than anything else. I should probably try, uh, see if I can't sell a uh, ton of stuff to these traders over here. This is going to allow me to be able to buy more stuff as well. Or uh, loot more stuff to sell more stuff, basically. Uh, yeah, let's just go and do this for now. Come on. I'm shift-clicking there, but for some reason they're not shift-clicking. Okay, I've got a bad feeling this about one's this. worse, so I'll go and scrap that one. HD magazine extended will keep. UMP, we have so many of these at the base. Uh, the scar will keep as well. Come on, I need more space. I need way, way, way more space. I'm going to have to go drop some stuff on my vehicle outside as well. I just don't have the space right now to keep anything on us. My drone already has some food and drinks and stuff in there just to keep some space for me. Okay, I think I'm going to start scrapping stuff that I don't... Uh, but I can sell this. Oh, okay. That shotgun just now is also apparently really good. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm just going to scrap them. Okay, I should probably go and see if we can't drop a few things outside in the vehicle. Also, there is a working... Hello? Uh, there's a working uh, elevator over here. That's really cool. You can call it down to you and then... What was wrong with you just now? Almost looked like, uh, like she was smelling her armpits or something. Where? I want to say, where's that dog just now? I saw something jumping over, but I couldn't see where it went. Oof. Okay. Um, I might be able to sell some of that stuff as well. Let's just first do this. Do this. Let's see. Um, I'm not going to be using this or this. 9 more ammo. I want to technically keep for later in case we need it. Let's we can do that. Scrap, scrap. Make more space. Uh, bundles we'll keep for now because we don't know what we're going to have in those bundles. And do that. Okay, so hopefully we have enough space now. We still have to go and loot this one room downstairs. Last time we went through there, we lockpicked it. Went through, yeah, I lockpicked this one now. Uh, guys, remember, since this is a trader, you can't open up the boxes. But some of these boxes are already open. So it helps you out. This place, as long as you have some lockpicks on you, you're good to go. I actually I dropped all my lockpicks at the base. I was like, ah, I'm not going to need lockpicks. Why would I need lockpicks? I have an auger. But unfortunately, at the trader, you can't force your way through. You have to think your way through. All those weapons and stuff I need to go and sell. None of these are open. Okay, these might have some schematics and stuff in them for me. It looks like there's way more of these post boxes than, or mailboxes than there really are. But basically, these are separated by color, so you know exactly where to loot. You see, this whole thing is one block. It's really cool that they're different colors, though. It, uh, it saves you time when looting. You just know, okay, this is one block, this one block. Keep this, go for this. Okay, so this side is done. Um, yeah, the whole bottom has now been looted. The top over here... We can't, unfortunately, get in by Genevieve. There's some stuff at the back over there we might be able to get, but yeah, we can't now. So this is Jen, this is nothing there. How goes it? He has a box behind him, and there's one of these rooms that have so many of those boxes. I think it's behind Jen. So we can't get to it. We'll really loot that one just now. 
Still looting the right... Yeah, I still have the lucky little goggles on. Anything spare that I don't really need right now? Armor, weapons, that kind of stuff I'm going to sell My back. Senses have picked up something. Hopefully nothing dangerous. I think it's over here where there's... No, yeah, it's behind Genovia. Look at all those chests, but you can't get to there for some reason. I mean, it makes sense because there's, with all that loot back there, it's going to be too easy. But it's a shame there's no, like, one-by-one -one hole or something you can jump through. Because some of these rooms have a one-by-one -one hole and it makes it so much easier just quickly getting in there. Okay, so I'm going to make sure we keep one of each. The scar. Remington is mine. Thank you. Uh, That's apparently a really good one. I need to see which is better, the uh, uh, the Remington or that one. Scar, steel, Remington. Okay, so I'm quickly going to go do... No! Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't get the mods back. Damn, I sold it with mods on it. Oh, and I'm buying back, so it cost me. But it's HD mods, I need to do it. Much obliged, stranger. I wanted to do this, modify. Damn, that just cost me some uh, money. At least we have, like, a few hundred thousand cash. Uh, but still, I don't want to waste cash that easily. Okay, so that's not my gun. What a waste, what a waste. At least I have the cash to spare, but still. Okay, uh, might be able to put some of these mods on there as well. I should probably check. The more mods can go on a weapon, the the stronger it makes that weapon for you. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. I will, I will. I had a great experience. Okay, so unfortunately it doesn't take the uh, advanced magazine. This one already has the advanced drum, so it doesn't matter. And this one's almost completely broken. So let's repair that. Reload this. And sort that. Okay. So, yeah, we need to go back to the base. We don't really have any space to do anything else with anymore. Um, but on the, also, on the other hand, I just really want to go to over here. There's a town here. And see if I can't find that big, 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 big castle. That is to that side, right? Yeah, to the west. So yeah, we've, uh, this town is a really pretty small town, so the, the thing's not going to be here. Guys, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, there is a massive castle with water around it and spikes and stuff. And the loot inside, it's like, like there's a lot of treasure chests with like uh, um, legendary tools and weapons and stuff. Um, oh, is this another gen? Probably Mark. Oh, there's another gen, exactly the same. I'm going to call this Super Gen. <laughs> okay, where's the coin one? Queen, 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 queen. Ah, oh, screw it. Super gen. This seems like a super gen as well. The amount of loot this place has inside is, uh, makes it so worth it. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, I told the NPCs to wait on the... Oh, I'm gonna have to go back for them. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, I might just gonna go and sell and scrap all that stuff because at the moment we don't have the space to deal with this. Um, yeah, I quickly want to go inside over here. So, it's not this door. It's this door or this one, because there is a hole. Oh no, it goes all the way through the back. So all we have to do is unlock this one, and the one next to it. I think I'm quickly going to cut away and then just open up all the stuff that needs opening up, and then we can loot it together. I am going to have to go and sell a ton of more stuff or scrap a ton of stuff before we start looting these, because we need way more space. How did I miss... Okay, but yeah, let's just quickly open up all these doors. There's just these bottom two doors and then a, a few things upstairs. Okay, so I quickly came back to this gen over here because I need to actually see a few things. I think there might be some stuff on the roof. Um, and I also want to have these NPCs carry stuff in. But look at this. She's one with a tree. <laughs> Remember that's, oh no, I couldn't find her. And now, yep. But yeah, I couldn't find her for a moment. I was like, where the hell? Oh, there you are. Also, it seems there's a sewer system right next to... Oh, I thought there was actually something there. I just want to check something quickly over here because I think there might be a roof access. This only goes up one floor, right? Let's really uh, try this out. Does this only go up one floor? I want to see now. Okay, yeah, it's only the one floor. Technically, I don't want the NPCs in there because they can bug out on the inside. Okay. I'm going to have to drop a ton of stuff. We just passed two raiders as well. Friendly raiders, at least. Where the hell are you going? Oh, 
What are you fighting right now? There's nothing there. Okay, now, wait to be- Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly drop a ton of stuff in the inventories, guys, because I need them to hold stuff for me. And, yeah, then we're gonna go to the other trader and quickly go there. Well, we need to go there and see what we can loot over there as well. Okay, so, NPCs are staying outside. Let me simply do this. I'm hoping when I tell them to stand still like that, they don't get killed or something. Because you don't see the HP when you tell them to stand where they're standing. If they don't follow you around, you don't know how well it's going. You just hear there's a noise outside, but you don't know if they're winning or they're losing. What is this? Steel bumper. Nice. A schematic that we did not know yet. That is rare. Hidden stash. Ah, oh, give me something I don't know. XP. Athletics. Level 435. Damn. That sound just now sounded like we failed a quest or something. Another 10,000. Scrap that. I'm not interested in anything like duct tape or anything like that right now. I'm just cash, coin, uh, books, and then anything we can sell to the traders next door as well. Ooh, I just got a schematic that we don't know yet. These over here, guys, give you skill points. So this is going to give me three skill points. And this one over here is going to give me two skill points. Boom. I'm going to max out all my levels. <laughs> or all my skills before my levels are even maxed out. Okay, that is a schematic. Wait, what? Um, are you kidding me? I might have actually got, I have to go back. I didn't realize it was dual-sided. I can't remember if I, I lose it both sides or only one side on that side. I'm hoping I picked up that it was dual-sided and just did it subconsciously. That is really... Okay, so I might have missed out just now. Damn. Come on. I'm just really going to loot this and if we get some schematics, I'll see afterwards. While we go up and uh, upstairs to loot all the great loot by uh, the J. Is it not? It's not by Jen. Jen has a ton of loot by her, but we can't make it to her, unfortunately. If we could make it in by Jen. Oh, that amount of loot is insane. For those of you who want to know what I'm talking about, do that. One, two, three hardened chests, but we can't make it in there. We can scroll through a one by one, but since these bars are in the way, this does not count as a one by one. That's one that's a, a little less than a block. So because of that, you can't make it in there. This just leads outside. Yim, we also can't reach. And then her, yeah, I already lockpick everything over here. After I lockpick everything, I just had to go fetch my NPCs because they have to carry some stuff for me. And I'm just hoping the NPC doesn't die because then you lose all the loot. That's also why I'm so worried about leaving them just standing outside. Because if you tell them to stay where they're standing, they're not going to run away if a too big a threat comes for them. Nice, lucky loot of volume 7. Oh, nice, max out. And silencer, yes! Now with the silencer, we can go and put it on the Remington. I want to make sure the sil- Uh, but wait. The silencer can't be on there with this thing. Oh wow, my inventory is all the way full again. Just realized that. You can't put that on there with that. Okay, so what I could also do is mod out the guns that I want to sell. For example, we have these now- Oh no, I'm going to definitely sell this one. So then you go and mod. And anything I can go on there, you should actually put on there and then sell it. Uh, sniper rifle I'm also going to be selling. Put that on there. I think I should first try and sell some stuff now before I continue. I think I put this on my NPC outside. These are new ones, I hope. I'm actually not going to sell them now just because I'm unsure. Uh, and then as soon as I get back to the base, then I'll go and sell, I'll sell the spares to our traders. Oh, wow. We are just way too full right now. Hey, Jay. If you don't mind, I'm actually taking all your loot here and then just selling it right back to you. It's kind of messed up that you're actually selling everything just straight back to the traders. Come on. I'm shift clicking. There you go. Steel bat. This is a steel bat. UMPs, we definitely have the base. I don't know if we have... Like I said, I don't know if this one's the one that we loot from the other trader. But if I'm not mistaken, I put all of those on the vehicle outside. I'm going to sell everything. Minor tune-up. I think there's a major tune-up as well, so the minor one will sell. Come on. There you go. There you go. Sell the stack. There you go. Okay, uh, what else can I sell? It feels like my inventory is shrunk for some reason. <laughs> it, it, it used to feel like there's way, way, way more space to work with. We still have 500,000, guys. Still have 500,000. I wonder if I shouldn't buy... 
No, nah, but we're not really going to use it. I'm definitely going to buy the 30% XP because that's 30% XP for 30 minutes. So the 20% XP one at the base, we can just go and use. I hope you get feeling better. The next Horde Knight, we're going to get 30% more XP. We're already leveling up so fast because of the fact that we have um, all these XP skill perks and stuff as well. For those of you who don't know, you have you get skill points. We can I think I'm leveling currently from the skill points 30% faster. Then there's also these losses that give you an extra 10% um, XP. We are playing on 150 to make sure that we uh, the series progresses nice and fast for the just for content. Uh, but guys, even if I wasn't doing that, with all the loot we're getting, it's basically you, you don't have to play on 150% to uh, to finish it fast. But War of the Walkers and Apocalypse now, I, I tweaked it uh, a lot so we can just make sure we finish everything fast. Oh, I didn't lockpick the... How did I not lockpick this one? Okay, it's one of those that make the creaking sound. There's a sphery uh, oval one that you can't hear that click, click, click. So it makes it so much harder to go and open up. There you go. Come on. There you go. Uh, boom... Okay, we are starting to get way more of these mods, which we are going to need later. Steel hunting knife we can sell. Okay, so, uh, let's do this, this. Steel hunting knife we don't need. Tungsten roll bars. This goes on your vehicle so you can drive over zombies without damaging your vehicle too much. I think, yeah, we already have one at the outside because the others are also gone. I now, um, find something you'd like. was she the only one that we actually really need to loot up here? I think there's no other rooms up here except for her that we need to loot. Okay. Probably see if Jen has anything to sell us before we leave. You're, uh, feeling under the weather. I also, also the oh, ordered. twin turbo mod schematic. Any mods that we don't know, uh, schematics that we don't have yet, I'm going to buy. It's just so much easier at the moment just buying them. Wind surfer that goes on the water. I should probably go and try and see how the water thing works. Although my, my card bugs out with the water. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get on the water in the first place. Legendary Machete, 50,000, level 3. Damn. So that's why we need the castle. These legendary things are also worth a ton of cash. Not that I'm going to be selling them, but they are worth a lot. Grandpa's awesome source for next time. Probably be getting all the gunpowder as well. Okay, so I think we can now go back to the base. But like I said, I first want to quickly just check... If we have a castle in this area of here. If Thank not, we're just so going to go back. Hey, come again. So I have to tell the NPCs to follow me. And then I have to go and just drive and drive and drive. There are also vehicles around this place. But you can't uh, range them. You can loot them. You just can't range them. I'm hoping the fog goes away soon. Because I want to be able to see where this uh, thing is. It's a massive, massive, massive fortress. So you should be able to see it from a distance. But just now I pass it just because it's too foggy to see. Like uh, with this fog, it's so easy. You can literally pass by what you're looking for without even worry. Uh, you, you won't even notice it. Never, ever, ever notice it. Oh, look at this, guys. Penguin. I wonder if you can actually kill it because uh, these NPCs. Whoa, what are you? Mace zombie. You know, I'm also actually seeing these special zombies. But yeah, um. I'm actually just quickly looking at this town as well. I, I noticed that the two desert towns over here were very small. It uh, doesn't seem like there's anything else in the fog over there. So I'm just going through the snow biome over here as well. Guys, we want that big castle. If this town does not have it, for now I'll just go back to the base and resign myself to the fate that there is none. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really hoping we do find one over here. It, it seems there's actually really cool pure eyes on this town as well. The two smallest towns had the best traders so far. Uh, but yeah, these buildings over here look super interesting. What gun is that? Oh, that's a Harley. Hello, Harley. Bye-bye, Harley. Harley Quinn. Oopsie, I think I go. Oopsie, I think I poopsie. Whoa, why am I reloading so fast? Damn. Is this a friendly? No, that's not friendly, right? Rogue. Poor penguin! Okay, yeah, this biome seems to be way more dangerous than the other biomes. I mean, I'm all for it. The, the bigger challenge there is, the better for us. I think at this stage, uh, if we can just find the wasteland. I'm actually looking for the wasteland right now. If we can find that, we might even move there in the future. 
At the moment, our base is so OP, we don't have to worry about the Horde base or repairs or anything. I do want to go and just finish the Horde base because not all of it's concrete. But yeah, we don't even have to do any work on the Horde base right now. We're just exploring, having fun, like, just checking stuff out. And then seeing if we can get lucky. But evil TF, what's this? Got a bad feeling about this? You are a friend. Medieval TFPS, what is that? Is that my nurse? Wait, that's on- Oh, that's on my nurse! Yes! Another one! Accept. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! They're not attacking him. Dude's getting away with murder, literally. Okay, so we have a new NPC. Well, a new uh, uh, friend and a new NPC that we just found. It's always cool finding all these different variants of all of the zombies and uh, NPCs and stuff. Um, no, let's go back. I want to stay in town over here while we're looking for everything. I'm just really hoping this place is... If it doesn't have the castle, guys, that means like five, six towns we've searched now. And that's going to make me wonder, is it still even in the update or not? Remember, we lost our save when we updated to the latest one. And yeah, since then, I haven't been able to find another one of those castles. And it's huge, so it's not that easy to miss. So you should be able to see it from distance. Okay, so it seems this place is full of rogues. This town is so full of rogues. There was another dude over here just now with a gun. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, so yeah, the snow biome is the home of the rogues, it seems. Which means the wasteland is the home of the psychos. Because so far, we haven't really... We've had one or two rogues uh, by us. What is this? Serving wrench. Is she a prostitute? I think so. Oh, and the dog. This dog, you can actually give food. Um, and it's supposed to be like an ally to you, but yeah, for some reason, it's not. It's supposed to follow you like, around and stuff, but it keeps running away. Like uh, It's supposed to be a companion. Okay, so we're getting so many new uh, NPCs in this biome. Okay, sure, we've been in the desert for so long, we don't know what other NPCs there are. But do we have a forest biome? That's forest, that's snow. So the wasteland's either on that side or on the bottom of here. Yeah, I think the wasteland's gonna be to the south. I need to go check whether the wasteland is radiated or not, because I think we're gonna have way more fun there as well. But also, we have to be careful of all of the psychos, because apparently they have rocket launchers and stuff. So, especially with fire in the game, they can burn down your place if you have any wooden shapes inside. Yeah, what the hell are you? Skeleton monk. It's a shame we haven't seen more of these dudes. Also guys, you have to be careful when you go to this pure eye. You can see there's a flame over there. Um, that vehicle, as soon as you get close, explodes. And in this mod, fire spreads. So this whole place is going to burn down if you just start looting over here. Unfortunately, you can't th throw like a grenade of smoke to cover it. That would be awesome. If we could just uh, see... Okay, that's going to burn... Uh, that's going to explode. There's going to be fire. Let's throw this in until and blanket the, the fire. That'd be awesome. But that is not a thing. Okay, that's the Canada store over there. I'm not interested in looting any other buildings right now. What we need is to find more awesome POIs. We've done the Canada building before. So as soon as we've made a full circle, yeah, now that we've made a full circle, we can actually drive over here. And just see what's on that side. You need to be careful though. With all of these rogues, um, uh, these skeletons, rogues, and then just normal friendly NPCs as well, so... Oh, it's another Costco. See, there might be good- well, we know there's good loot in the Costco, but at the moment... Have we done this PI before? I'm actually uh, uh, kind of thinking of doing this one, I think... Yeah, in our previous series, we were across from one of these, weren't we? No, it was one, it almost looked like an amusement park that we were across from. Yeah, for now though, let's just see if we can't dump some stuff over here. And over here. We can't really loot right now, so unfortunately that's a problem. Okay, just do that, do this. Just quickly gonna clear this, just in case that's something good here. Read that screamer. I see that red wall over there. I know that means it's dangerous. 
Lady. You're pushing me away. Why are you going that way? You guys are leaving me alone over here in the danger zone. Okay, tools. We need some more mods and stuff. So if I can find some from these, that's awesome. Tools for the workstations. Okay, she already died, which means that's a new screamer lady. Okay, they're inside this boat over here, it seems. I think there's a ton of zombies inside over there. Where's the button? I think there's a button you're supposed to flick and then it's going to open up that door. Need all of the... Springs over here. We go for all these beds. Now these leads upstairs. Don't, oh, let's just check if there's something upstairs. Although I don't think there is. Be careful in case there's a vulture. That's why I have this gun on me. Hello, hello, hello. Look at this dude just waiting up here for us. That actually scares... If you didn't know that was there, that can scare the crap out of you. I've got a bad feeling about Are you this. supposed to be up here and then up here? I think so. Okay, that's how you get up here. Yeah, this looks really cool. This is really cool. Oh, this looks like nukes. They were busy building a massive ship of here. And this leads nowhere. I just get outside and help my NPCs before they end up dying. What are you fighting over here? What was that? That was some kind of weird zombie. See, the NPCs love doing their own thing, and then before you know it, they're busy dying, so we have to constantly hold their hands. Okay, let's see if we can find more of these awesome buildings. It's gonna be worth it, uh, just this, a little bit of an excursion over here. This is a big, big, big place. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, that steel gas station over there. Okay, this one. Let's quickly clear it. We're literally just gonna run through and do as much damage as possible. We don't really have that much place to loot stuff. We're just gonna run through, we're gonna kill some zombies, and then if there's a final stash, we'll grab the final stash. Other than that, we don't have the the space right now to grab even more. Incoming enemy, prepare for conflict. Yeah, they're in the walls. That's not cool. I could easily just also take the uh, XP elixir on me and then kill a ton of zombies. I level up many times over just in this one place. This almost looks like the Matrix building. That Neo walks into the beginning with all the guns and stuff. This looks like that. Okay, this is... I thought it might be a staircase over there. Come on. Shows up. There you go. Very, very quiet. That should hit all of them. Oh, wow. I almost just messed up. I hope I have enough ammo on me for this place. Oh, if the NPCs follow me up here, I might be able to put some loot on them as well. I just realized because we have no space at all right now. Master, we are not alone. Let's just go scrap stuff that we don't need. Uh, scrap, do that. I hope they pop up here to me soon because I'm going to get to the next level. Okay, at least it looks like you do floor by floor by floor like this. So they should pop up to me at any time now. If I get too far away from them, they pop right next to you. These rooms are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and more dangerous. Okay, I need to be careful not to hit the books back there.
Yo, why are you so slow, lady? He's just inching, inching, inching closer to the scream over here. Damn, I don't have the space. I don't know if I'm supposed to be happy or sad that I don't have the space because it means so far we've had a lot of luck with loot. Uh, scrap, scrap. Most of these we're just going to scrap anyways because there's there's almost no schematics that we still need to know. Um, there's one or two like the drone uh, cargo and all that stuff, but we're not finding it at all. NPCs, I want you to come to me. I'm hoping there's an easy way down to them. See, every time I'm in the elevator, they pop to where I am, but by then it's too late. I need them to pop next to me uh, as we uh, as soon as we reach the next floor because I'm too full. These floors are getting more dangerous and dangerous and dangerous. Okay, do we have some explosive? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. My senses have picked up something. Imagine these screamers could also uh, call in zombies. We'd be so screwed. Uh, the fire over there is not going out, which is bad. This fire should go out because there, uh, there's nothing wood as far as I'm aware. Imagine there is wood and you just didn't realize it. Like, for example, these bookcases at the back, they're wood. Um... Okay, so now, space, 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 space. Uh, we'll drink the recog for more damage. We'll drop that. All of this stuff's over here still busy scrap, uh, scrapping, so that's going to take forever. Ammo, I want to grab because we might get some ammo in here that we really need to use. But if it's something that like this, HE rockets we'll never use. These we have stacks up at the base. For me, what's more important right now is the schematics and stuff we can find over here. Unfortunately, most of the iron stuff we have on us um, that we're scrapping takes like 40 seconds to scrap. And the longer it takes to scrap, the uh, less space we have to work with. Bones will drop for now. See, 16 seconds, 1 minute 30. All of these take way too long. I could eat... Yeah, let's just eat all of this and then move to the next floor. Okay, I have no idea how many floors this place has, but this is getting dangerous. I think instead of the fire, we'll do this one because there's so many dogs. And anything that's still alive will try and kill, like this. If my NPCs are over here, they'd actually be helping me, but also they'd be bad. Because with NPCs with you, it's what you can do... I think I'm going to read the schematics instead of scrap them. But yeah, with the NPCs, they're going to start attacking these guys immediately before you even decide what you want to do. Uh, so read that. That way we don't have to worry about scrapping because there's almost no space to scrap. Uh, let's see, let's see. Scra okay, read that one. Let me start scrapping stuff as well because you can see we are really full right now. If I didn't have so much cash, I can't believe it's a bad thing I have this much cash on me. Because of that, we don't have any space ready to work with over here. I have no idea how... Okay, this is the fifth floor. I think from the outside it looked like it had like 10. So yeah, I might have to uh, call this on a cliffhanger and then to finish this next time. So if you guys uh, like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips and feedback leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some... Oh, no, no, wait. No, 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 no. See you guys next time for some insane War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.